okay youtube uh so i have this problem with this journey what we're going to try to do here is uh replace the uh, fluid pressure sensor on this uh, on this uh journey to do this uh it's kind of simple but you need to remove some parts to remove first this um connector right here there you go after that uh, we're gonna need to remove all the bolts around this transmission pan i think it will be eight millimeter we have to remove all those bolts around this pan remove this pan and under this pan on the bottom side there will be the pressure sensor for this transmission that's the one we need to replace okay uh, after you remove all the bolts around here we're gonna be able to get a couple on this side from the top side of the truck couple on this side uh, and the rest you're gonna have to get them from under the truck those are the bolts right there now that the all the bolts are removed from the uh from the transmission pan uh we're gonna remove that transmission pan now remember it's gonna be um uh, It'll be hard to remove it because it has some uh, a gasket maker or something similar to, to this thing or silicone or something that is uh, uh, keeping uh, the oil pan stick to the to the uh, transmission so you don't have any leaks. Um, place a, a container down there and also a piece of a paper, whatever you have in hand. Uh, the point is to not uh, you know have any oil on your driveway. Now we're gonna get a tool. And I'm gonna get a tool similar to this uh, thing. This is a, a painter's tool, or you can get something that is uh, a flat and you know skinny, so you can put it between the a transmission uh, transmission pan and the actual transmission. Uh, but don't go too deep when you're doing this. Don't go too deep because you can damage some of the internal parts of the transmission. So let's just uh, tap it with a hammer right there. Can see right there it's already moving so now let's do the bottom part of the transmission and we're gonna have some oil leaking from there you see that way you need your uh, pan there ready to catch that oil Okay, now that we um, separate the transmission uh, pan from the transmission, keep in mind this thing is going to stay where it is. It's part of the cylinder pack of this transmission. So we're going to pull it. We're going to try to play a little bit with these transmission hoses and uh, pull this uh, uh, transmission pan and, and pull it out of the way because we need to clear that area to, to work there. Here it comes and there we have our beautiful transmission and it's hard to remove it okay uh, for me it's better to remove this um, washer fluid receiver it's only two eight millimeter bolts one on each side and down there is just sitting, sitting on the uh, core support for me it's better just to remove it have more room to work with this oil pan so let's see if that gives me enough space to remove this thing okay uh, just to give you a follow-up on what i'm doing here I decide to disconnect the uh, radiator hose there I decide to disconnect and just bend it over here and the other pipe I just put a piece of wire and just pull it up a little bit and, uh, and place it there for it's not making any tension I just 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 put it there uh, but that is gonna give you enough room just to remove the uh, transmission pan and it's going to be really really easy it's going to give you enough space to remove it 
now just uh, something I forgot to mention um, uh, remove the connector from obviously from here from the transmission you have another connector right here and uh, there um, uh, they kind of clip on on the frame etc so just remove all of those and uh, pull them out of the way so you have more space here that way we remove the uh, washer fluid container reservoir and uh, uh, remove the this uh, um, radiator hose to have more space now we're doing all of this because we need to get to this stem uh, sensor right there and the one we the one that we're gonna try to replace is the fluid pressure uh, sensor uh, and there is another name for this thing I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know which one it is so to remove it just uh, remove this clip right here red clip and then press it and pull it yeah there you go it's out there you go remove a couple of bolts around here that is holding this sensor i believe it won't be one two three bolts holding that sensor and uh you're gonna be able to remove it and uh just so you know uh, this piece right here uh is on top of the sensor so you're gonna need to remove this uh bolt i think it will be a T25 thing. You need to remove that bolt. So again, it will be a T25. Uh, we already removed the, the bolt uh, right here on top. We're gonna remove this one right here. Okay, so we remove the four bolts. And we're gonna remove this little belt right here that has the roller. For the transmission uh, speed sensor, I think it is. And now we have our sensor unplugged. We just need to remove it out of there. Just pull it out. There it is. Here is our sensor. It will be 05, 07, A7. 08AC that, that will be the uh, sensor or the part number um, it will be this uh, was almost it was like 90, 95 96 dollars uh, from uh, the Dodge dealer and uh, I did find it online but I didn't didn't want to wait for it and I think online it was like 56 or 60 bucks so it's like 30 35 bucks less than the one from the dealer you want to buy it online i just need it now so i need to you know i have to I have to buy it um but yeah that's the part number part number and uh and also it, the sensor itself it has the uh part number i don't know if you can see it but it has a part number on the black part of the connector so you can do that too if you need the part number for your sensor okay our sensor is installed now there is one two three four bolts installed along with this uh, uh part right here uh, don't forget to put that back and i think uh, the torque specs for this uh, the torque specs for uh, these bolts and it'll be uh, 51 uh, inch pounds uh and then let's install this connector right here you should make the click and then put the lock back in this red red piece just push it in that's a little lock so everything here is done now we have to work with the uh, oil pan to, to install it and uh, you want to make sure you have a clean surface all around uh, the transmission um, where you want to see your transmission pan uh, make sure it's really clean and also make sure you, you don't let any debris fall into the transmission try to clean it little by little and remove all the debris right try to clean little by little and remove all the little pieces out of there 
And also we we'll have to do the same thing with this. Let's clean it up a little. You can use uh, something like this to clean it up or something like this, but make sure you don't scratch, you don't make hard scratches on the on the uh, surface right here. Okay, we just need to remove all the uh, all RTV from here. So let's let's ready to work. Okay, after you clean all the uh, old RTV, make sure you clean real good all around uh, the surface and also the inside. Make sure you don't have any uh, debris or little pieces of that uh, uh, our old RTV in here. You don't want that inside your transmission. Uh, you can spray um, the transmission pan with uh, some brake cleaner just to make sure you wanna clean everything real good. you just make sure you put RTV all around the holes as well okay now this pan is ready to install success okay. uh, so the transmission pan is uh, back on the transmission. Make sure you put everything back. Um, put uh, the radiator hose uh, back in place. Put the screw in. Uh, your washer fluid as well. All the things that you remove. And the uh, RTB, you should let it, let it cure for uh, 24 hours before you put a fluids in. And so we want to wait 24 hours for that. And then I pour uh, the uh, transmission fluid because we'll, we'll, we'll lose uh, some of that transmission fluid and uh, try it. Uh, we want to try it, see, see how it goes. I'm going to connect the connectors back, put everything back in place and just wait for tomorrow. Um, add the rest of the fluid that it needs and test the truck and I'll let you know how it goes.